Welcome to ActNotes Tutorials, my name is Dan, and I am going to give you a quick tutorial on the technology maturation and risk reduction phase of the defense acquisition process, or what I like to call the DMRR phase. What is the technology maturation and risk reduction phase? The technology maturation and risk reduction phase is one of five phases that make up the defense acquisition process. It's focused on making sure a program is ready to enter into the engineering and manufacturing development phase by having reduced risk, mature requirements, funding, and stable programmatics. This is a figure of the defense acquisition process. You can see where the TMRR phase is located by the red box. What is the purpose of the technology maturation and risk reduction phase? The purpose of the DMRR phase is to reduce risk in technology, engineering integration, life cycle cost and to determine the appropriate set of technologies to be integrated into a full system. The phase conducts competitive prototyping of system elements, refines requirements, and develops the functional and allocated baselines of the end item system configuration. What are the objectives of the technology maturation and risk reduction phase? The objective of the DMRR phase is to buy down technical risk and develop a sufficient understanding of a solution in order to make sound business decisions on initiating a formal acquisition program in the engineering, manufacturing, and development phase. The TMRR phase develops and demonstrates prototype designs to reduce technical risk, validate designs, validate cost estimates, evaluate manufacturing processes, and refine requirements. Based on refined requirements and demonstrated prototype designs, integrated systems design of the end item system can be initiated. Additionally, the TMRR phase efforts ensure the level of expertise required to operate and maintain the product is consistent with the force structure. What analysis takes place during the technology maturation and risk reduction phase? During this phase, the program manager will conduct a systems engineering trade-off analysis showing how cost and capability vary as a function of the major design parameters. The analysis will support the assessment of refined key performance parameters, key system attributes in the capability development document. Capability requirements proposed in the capability development document, or equivalent requirements document, should be consistent with program affordability goals. What is the process for the technology maturation risk reduction phase? Technology development is an iterative process of maturing technologies and refining user performance parameters to accommodate those technologies that are not sufficiently mature. The initial capabilities document, draft capability development document, and draft system requirements document guide the efforts of this phase, leading to an approved capability development document. The main deliverables during the DMRR phase are Test and Evaluation Master Plan Risk Assessment Systems Engineering Plan Programmatic Environment, Safety, and Occupational Health Evaluation Compliance Schedule for National Environmental Policy Act Program Protection Plan Technology Readiness Assessment Cost Capability Analysis Capability Development Document and System Requirements Document Validated System Support and Maintenance Objectives and Requirements the TMRR phase should also provide inputs to the Integrated Baseline Review, Information Support Plan, Validated Online Lifecycle Threat, Acquisition Strategy, Affordability Assessment, Cost, and Manpower Estimates, and System Safety. The main technical reviews conducted during the DMRR phase are System Requirements Review System Functional Review Preliminary Design Review Technology Readiness Assessment And finally, the integrated baseline review. Thank you for watching this tutorial on the technology maturation and risk reduction phase in the acquisition process. For more information please visit the webpage. The link is below. Congratulations on finishing this tutorial and thanks for visiting ACT Notes.